Today I'll be painting the beautiful doctor bird, the national bird of Jamaica. If you've ever seen a hummingbird, it's like witnessing a little bit of magic. They are petite and light and beautiful. You have to really observe carefully because if you blink, you'll miss them. Today I'll be using acrylic paint and yellow paper. So let's jump right in and add some fun splashes with acrylic. I've always had varying stacks of colored paper and for the longest while I wasn't sure what to do with them. But now I'm really having fun using the different colors to establish backgrounds for my paintings. So here I wanted to create some large splashes of color. So I'm using a blank sheet of paper to actually squish the paint. <laughs> I'm getting really experimental here. Now I can really build up the colors on top of the yellow paper. In this painting, I'll be sticking with a fairly limited color palette of mainly yellows, greens, and black, with a hint of red for the hummingbird's beak. Now let's put a little splash of green for vegetation and this will help with integrating the bird into the background once I start painting it. I'm going to leave it for a little while so that it dries thoroughly because I don't want the paint affecting the painting of the bird itself. The Dr. Bird itself comes in two varieties, one with a red beak and one with a black beak. They were once thought to be two separate species, however, they are actually the same bird and have been reclassified as one, as they often interbreed. <laughs> and I guess this is where I can say, out of many, one. I believe the ones with the darker beaks are found mostly on the east side of the island. As per usual in the world of birds, the female is a lot less showier than the male. The female of the species lacks the long flowing tail, but is totally cute nonetheless. Fun facts about hummingbirds. Its wings can flutter up to 80 times per second. Amazing. Another fun fact about hummingbirds is that the female hummingbirds are often slightly larger than the male. The name Dr. Bird is believed to come from the coats that doctors used to wear many, many moons ago. Maybe there's another story. If you have any ideas about the name Dr. Bird, let me know. The beautiful little doctor bird is also called the streamer-tailed hummingbird and it is found only on the island of Jamaica. Its scientific name is Trochilus 
Polytmus. <laughs> That's quite a mouthful, but I think I'll call him Trotchy for short. The doctor bird has a unique characteristic. It is that beautiful, long, flowing tail. And its colors of green and black, with hints of yellow, when the sun hits its beautiful emerald green feathers, totally reflects the national colors of Jamaica. And when we throw in a little red for the beak, we have some ites gold and green going on. This little bird has so much cultural significance. Getting back to the use of coloured paper, it is so useful for creating a mood and background for your drawings and paintings. With coloured paper you can integrate it into the painting and you don't have to try and fill in white spaces. So use that coloured paper as part of your drawing. So, a touch of white around the bird just to make him stand out a little bit and I think we're there. So here we have the finished painting of the Dr. Bird. I'm so tempted to do a larger rendition of this painting but using a golden yellow background. So stay tuned for that one. Please remember to like and subscribe, wishing you one love, peace.